be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to arrange chill beats in Logic Pro 10 step by step. So I'm gonna give you some tips. Let's go ahead and jump in. Basically, I had this beat here, all right? Um, I already pretty much color coded it just to make it easy to kind of see the different sections here but I'm gonna go over everything. So basically I have an intro and the beat goes from the intro to um, the verse actually, it doesn't go straight into the hook on this beat. So intro, verse, and the, the hooks are purple. So for the most part is this intro, verse, hook, verse, hook, verse, hook, outro. So that's the format but the verses change every single time. So if you kind of look here, you got this melody part. It's pretty much going constant um, throughout the first verse. And then in the second verse, it changes. So we have a high pitch melody part and then a low pitch melody part. So we got the high pitch coming in right here, low going right here, and then we switch it up over here. So the melody, you know, we got the low melody here and the high melody there. Um, actually, as you, as you can see here, the drums drop out right here during the hook, and then I have it coming back in in the last part of the hook, just to kind of create a climax to the beat, you know. And uh, let's just kind of listen to some of this and see, get the vibe of everything. As you can see, also here, I have some risers that come before each section, um, and then this is a symbol that's like an accent piece. So let's just check this out. And I will also leave an actual silent cookup part to this beat. There, you'll actually just see me format it live. So let's just check it out, and then we'll get back into it.
All right, y'all, that's the beat. Just wanted to basically let you hear all the way through. There's a couple of things that I did do, um, like right before um, the hooks, I created a little space, like one bar that cuts out through it for the beat. And that's just kind of basic transition better into the hook. So that's there. Um, remember to keep everything simple, man. You know, don't overcomplicate things. And um, yeah, I appreciate y'all watching, man. Go to my website, beatmakerbasics.com. You can just shop courses, uh, sound kits, drum kits. Um, we have mixing templates. And we have a lot of other services, one-on-ones, collabs. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff we could do. Uh, but Beatmaker Basics to help you go to the next level, man. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this part of the video. And in the next part of the video, you're actually going to see me like arrange it live okay so it's gonna be a silent cook up part but uh i just wanted to kind of talk and explain it um verbally first before i do that appreciate y'all i'll see you in the next video we out